Hello and welcome back to another diabetic witterings from me, Michael Jex, the diabetic author. Well, it makes a change to have a different description, doesn't it? So today I just wanted to, first of all, apologise for the fact I've been offline for the last, I don't know how long, but for a very long time. It's purely because of um, the amount of work I had on. I had a deadline at the end of June and that took up all of my time to try to cover it. So I've been away for a while. Apologies for that, but I'm back now with a vengeance. Just finished using this. This is my latest Abbott Laboratories Libra Freestyle 2, whatever it is, which is a clever little doohickey, which I have spoken about before, which has all these wonderful electronics inside. And Abbott, if you haven't been in aware, have had some enormous problems recently. I got this one two weeks ago, literally ran out this morning. This is being recorded on Saturday the 22nd of July. And what happened was that Abbott decided to update their app so that these little doohickeys can now send data to your phone, like this, without you having to tap it or get close to it, which is rather wonderful. So these things are Bluetooth now and will send stuff straight to your mobile phone. The only trouble is that the app didn't seem to want to work that way. And in fact, what happened was that in my own case, I would have lengthy periods where no data was being sent to my phone. Um, I couldn't scan it with my phone because normally you'd just tap your phone on the back of this thing and it's NFC so that just updates the phone that way but that wasn't working terribly well and I kept getting sensor doesn't function and it wasn't just me it was the app was failing on iPhones so all of those clever young things like me with an iPhone were buggered so what happened was Abbott sent out various messages saying, really sorry about this, uh, it is a problem with the app and we're deeply apologetic. Well, that's fine. However, these things cost £50 and they only last for two weeks. So I sent off a note and said, look, I'm really not very happy because I went on holiday. I took this with me while I went on holiday so I could monitor my blood sugars because I need to know that I'm not doing anything silly. And it didn't helped me because while I was away it kept failing and I sent a note off to Abbott to that effect and didn't get a reply for three four days and I think that's probably because they have several thousand clients in the UK using iPhones and they probably got inundated with problems. So what they've done is I had a reply today and what it says is if I go down to Abbott Laboratories here, it says Freestyle Libra System. Dear Mr. Jex, thank you for contacting us. We will replace your sensor for you. And the next email I had was from Abbott Diabetes Care saying one replacement Freestyle Libra 2 sensor kit free of charge. And I really can't complain at that. I think that shows customer awareness, great customer care. I'm very impressed. Now, this week, I'm recording this early because on Monday, the 24th, is that right? 22nd today, 23rd Sunday, 24th Monday, I'm going in for treatment of my eyes. I have... I'll read this out. Here is my uh, comments. When I last saw Hirut von Lani, who's the consultant ophthalmologist, and she said visual acuities uh, were with reduced vision in the left eye and intraocular pressures were documented at 16 and 14 
right and left eye respectively. No idea whether that's good or bad. Main thing is, fundus examination showed moderate in the right, severe in the left, non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy and diabetic maculopathy in both eyes with hard exudates and microaneurysms with dot and blot hemorrhages in both eyes. There is an increase in retinal thickness on the macular OCT on the right eye and a significant increase in the left eye. Well, what does that mean? Plan follow-up. As there is progression of diabetic retinopathy in both eyes, I've suggested Mr. Jex has optimal diabetes uh, for optimal diabetic control, so that Mr. Jex should arrange to see you. And I've requested bilateral focal macular laser initially to be done within the coming month. This is the one I'm going in for on Monday. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to have some anti-VEGF treatment, which is one thing I really don't fancy. That's where you have to have an injection into the eyes. And uh, what's happening is, Basically, this is my understanding. This is not a medical description. However, what happens is that as you get increased sugar in your blood, it starts to block the smaller blood vessels in the body. In the eye, you have some of the smallest blood vessels. So what happens is I've got hema... What did I say it was? Uh, microaneurysms and blot hemorrhages. What that means is that there's liquid leaking out from the blood vessels. Um, one thing that the eyes will try to do is they will try to form new blood vessels, new veins going through the back of the eye. And that can block the macula, that can make you go blind. Uh, another thing that happens is the blood vessels get blocked and so they leak. That can get behind the macula, that can make you go blind. And that's what I've got. I've got the start of these hemorrhages. So I assume what the laser is going to do is probably going to cauterize those blood vessels. If I'm completely wrong on this, I will update this heat, this video. But I believe that's the idea is they cauterize the blood vessels and then hopefully that makes the problem stop. Now, what happens then? Well, I have my blood sugars well under control. Now that I've stopped eating any carbohydrates, my blood sugars are down to well below the normal levels. I did have a long chat with my diabetic nurse and he said because my blood sugars are good maybe there's an under, another underlying problem so he had me monitor my blood pressure because another thing that could have caused the similar sort of type of problem would be high blood pressure. I haven't. Uh, I tested myself over a week and my blood pressure if anything is slightly lower than the normal so it's not that. So it could just be that these problems with my eyes are just a hangover from past difficulties when I did have high blood sugar. As when I started off, as I've mentioned earlier in this podcast, my initial blood sugar levels were 114 when they should have been below 40. So I was getting on for three times the safe levels. I am now well below the safe levels, so that should be all right. So hopefully, with this laser treatment, if it cauterizes the veins and I keep the blood sugars under control, that should mean, with luck, fingers crossed, that it will cure the problem. If not, then I'm basically on a long, slow trek towards blindness, I suspect. So let's just hope that's not the case. The, the, I'm talking about this um, in as positive a manner as I can. I've been away, as I mentioned earlier, because I've been very busy because of deadlines. While I've been away, I've received a huge number of emails and messages on YouTube from people saying, hope you're all right. Well, I am all right. It, it was just pressure of work. However, um, one of my friends on YouTube has written to me to say that he developed a small sore and he didn't look at it for three, four days. After four days, he had to go to hospital and he's now had to have the bottom half of his leg amputated because it went very bad. He's diabetic and this is one of the things that can happen because your blood gets uh, the smaller veins that you need 
throughout your body do get blocked, they fail to work, and then if you have any sort of damage done to your body, any sort of infection, if you're walking around in bare feet or sandals and you get some damage done to your feet, you can very quickly uh, get sepsis or other problems which can lead to a need for amputation. So diabetes is one of those things where you really cannot afford to treat it in any sort of a cavalier manner. You have to be really careful and keep an eye on things. So nowadays I spend five to ten minutes every morning just massaging my feet and making sure that there's no sore patches, no damage done to them. I have, I think, still got good feeling in both feet. He says, I'm just doing that with my toes and feeling all of the toes are giving sensation feedback. So that's good. But um, yes, diabetes is a bugger. It is not a nice disease. So if you have any doubts about things, do go and get yourself checked over. Doesn't matter whether it's a sore patch or if you are one of those people, like I used to be, who would eat a lot of bread, a lot of pasta, a lot of rice dishes, um, don't necessarily take a lot of exercise. Around. I was still walking five to ten miles every day, but I still got diabetes badly. It's a rapid accumulation of different things. Uh, I did because of my eyesight being dreadful, and it always has been, I've been going to the optician and getting my eyes tested every two years, regular as clockwork. I went to Specsavers and they would take photographs of the back of my eye and make sure that everything was fine. But they never spotted that I had diabetes. They never spotted that I had hemorrhaging in the back of the eyeball because their machines are not as highly sensitive as the ones that the NHS uses. So all these years I've been going to the um, optician and getting photos taken of the back of my eyeballs. It's done me no good at all. I've, I felt safe and I was wrong to. So just be aware that um, it's not necessarily going to help you. I would thoroughly recommend having a look at macular retinopathy, diabetic maculopathy, diabetic retinopathy, and having a look at all of the indications that there can be and just assess whether you think you might have any sort of indications such as they talk about on the internet. I've discovered that one of the things, for example, is um, if you notice floaters in your vision, so you notice things that just occasionally move past. I've noticed that in the past. I hadn't realised that can be a sign of maculopathy. So there are all these things. Anyway, hopefully you haven't got any of these. Hopefully you haven't got any sores. Hopefully you haven't got diabetes come to that. Do keep an eye on things though. Do check up and if you've got any doubts, do go and see a doctor. It's worth it. And that, for now, is it. I've got to go in for this laser treatment on Monday, which means I don't know what condition I'll be in on Tuesday, which is why I'm recording this early. But I will hopefully update things very soon after. So wish me luck and I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> Thanks very much. Take care and look after yourselves.